guys, welcome to third grade, chapter three, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna count how many down and how many across. So one, two, three, four across. And one, two, three, four, five, six down. So one, two, three, four, five, six down. Okay, now for the next one down, we're just gonna swap those numbers. That's with the commutative property, okay? Also, six times four, well, that's 24, which means both of those are 24. When you are doing, I'm gonna give you a hint to try to remember your property, okay? The commutative properties, when you commute somewhere, it means that you go there, so you're moving there, okay? So we have the same exact numbers, just in a different order, which means that the numbers move. Okay, so the commutative property means that the numbers, you have the same three numbers, but they moved. Okay, all right. So the next one, we have one, two, three groups, and there's one, two, three, four in each group. Okay, so on the next line down, I'm going to put the same numbers, just opposite. Okay, now you can sit here and count them if you want to, but I know that three times four is 12. So now you know that too. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and do number four on your own. You're just gonna count how many across, then count how many down, multiply, or you can count if you need to. Okay, we're gonna go down and do the problem solving. The garden store sells trays of plants that hold two rows of eight plants. How many plants are in one tray? Well, two times eight is 16. So 16 plants, okay? All right, next one. Jeff collects toy cars. They're displayed in a case that has four rows of six cars in each row. How many cars does he have? Well, six times four, we just did up here. Oh, 24. 24 cars. Okay. All right, we're gonna go over onto the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. And we're gonna go down to this power review. Says Mrs. Williams drove 149 miles on Thursday and 159 miles on Friday. About how many miles did you drive all together in the two days? So I would go ahead and round those numbers. So 149 is going to round to about 100, and 159, that five makes it go up to 200. Add those up, that's 300. So about 300 miles. I know it has 699 pennies and 198 nickels. Estimate how many more pennies than nickels she has. Well, 699, I would round that to 700. And 198, I would round that to about 200. And we have to find the difference, so we're going to subtract. So, 0 and 0, and then 7 minus 2 is 5. So, about 500 more pennies. Okay. This year, the parade has 127 floats. That's 34 fewer floats than last year. How many floats were in the parade last year? So I'm going to take that 127 and I'm going to add 34 and see how many that gets me. Okay. So 7 plus 4 is 11. I'm going to carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 more is 6, and I'm going to bring down that 1. So, 161 floats. Okay. Jeremy made a tally table to record how his friends voted for their favorite pet. His table shows this next to a dog. How many friends voted for dog? Well, when you have 4 down and 1 across, that means 5. We're going to have 5, 10, and then each one of these is just 1. So 5, 10, 11, 12. 12 friends. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 3.6. Come on back for 3.7. See you soon.